Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 right quick. I am glad that you guys are here with me on this bright day. Today is Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. I want to say today's Tuesday, but uh, if today's Tuesday, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Today's Let's see what actually what today is, man. Today's Wednesday. My fault. Wednesday. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Yo, this topic right here is very, very, very serious. And um, I just don't understand why characters like this just just do the things he do. You know, it's a, you know, when you do stuff on the Internet, it leaves a paper trail. I just want to let you guys know. What's up, everybody? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast today. Today's Wednesday. About to get up, get fresh, and get up into this podcast for you guys. This topic right here is like lightweight serious, and I want to shout out my man D Nitty for bringing it to me. Even though I seen it on Facebook, it was it was in my Facebook feed, but my man D Nitty sent it, you know, sent it over to me, and he was like, "Look, man, this." This is serious. This is serious. Why? Why do dudes do this shit? You know, it's it's it's. I I don't, I don't understand why they do this shit either. You know what I'm saying? Look, if you're looking for love, man. If you're a grown ass man, and you're looking for love, look for love. For look for love for somebody that's at least close to your age, man. You know, these pedophiles out here kills me. I don't understand what you guys see in little girls and in little boys. They're not developed. They don't know anything. And they they not they they don't they they're, they're innocent. You're taking away their innocence. You know what I'm saying? When you do shit like that. You know, when you when you when you a pedophile, you just taking away the kids innocent. And then when they grow up, they grow up to be all fucked up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't even understand what the fuck goes. Don't understand what the fuck's going on because you fucked them up at a young age. I'm just saying, let's get into this topic, man. Let's get into it. Yo, let's jump right into this cat right here. This dude, Larry Mosling. Moslemum, Mosleming, something like that. I don't know. This dude right here, man, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But they, they blast him, though. They blasted him. They blasted him. Check it out. 42 pages of him talking to a 14-year-old. Now, when he finds out, when he finds out that she's 14, he continues to talk to her. He continues the conversation. He continues the, the he, he just continues it. Why? You, you know she's 14 years old. You know she's young. And you over here trying to get some nook nook from a 14-year-old, bruh. And what makes it so bad? What makes it so bad, this dude works at U.S. Express. Went to school at Mount Vernon Senior High School in Mount Vernon, Indiana. Got your picture and your truck in your picture, dude. Come on now. You, you thought that this was cool. I mean, if you're going to do some dirt, really, if you're going to do some dirt, you, don't you think you might want to keep vital information like where you work at and what school you went to? Maybe your whole last name. Maybe a picture of you and your truck in the background. Maybe you might want to just keep that under wraps. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You, you might just want to keep that under wraps, bruh. So he goes into the conversation. Yo, evening, evening. Young, you, now, mind you, he's thinking that he's talking to a 14-year-old girl when in actuality 
is one of those uh one of those uh predator um to catch a predator dudes. And I'm surprised what makes me <laughs> I'm surprised Chris Hansen didn't come out in this in, in this text feed right here. So he goes on to say, How are you? How are you, hun? I'm okay. How are you? I've been driving all day. Yuck. I just got hired as a truck driver. Nice. Yeah, I get to see all kinds of stuff. Are you single, dear? Yeah. How old are you? Would you date an older guy, 42, and you? Maybe, but you'll think I'm probably, I mean, I'm too young probably. I'll be 15 in May. Whoa, I don't know. I'm sorry. We can talk if you like, see what happens. See, right there, right there, right there, he should have stopped it right there. He should have been like, oh, whoa, my bad. Uh, I didn't realize you was a young cat, a uh, young female. I can't mess with you. You know, you too young for me. Bye. And the, and the conversation and the text should have dropped right there. Now, again, I'm about to tell you guys, don't you know that information over the Internet is over the Internet? Somebody is going to screenshot it. Somebody's going to record it. Somebody's going to record, record the video. Information over the Internet is never going away, even if you try to pull it away. Now, there is there is some people that can that can probably the you know get up and and delete internet information but in actuality it will never go away it's up there forever for people to see like this man right here larry mosley this guy right here let's get back at it man let's get back at it uh that's okay with me but if we were if we date, we have to wait for anything else. Okay. Really? Yeah, I you seem nice to me. Thanks, I'll try. You're welcome. Why did you move to Kentucky? Parents split up and had to move and had to go with my mom. Now see right there, right there. It's inappropriate now. Now you just fucking creepy, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Now now you legitimately, legitimately, is that a word? I want to use it if it's not a word, but I'm going to use it anyway. You legitimately made yourself a pedophile. Now you're breaking the law. So you got your information up. You're Larry Mosley. Your picture and your truck is in the back. Uh, your truck is in the background. Your picture is in the foreground. You went to Mount Vernon. You live in Mount Vernon and you work for U.S. Express. All it just takes for the cops uh, for the cops to get this information, and all they have to do is call up Chattanooga, ask and 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 be like, "Yo, we looking for Larry Mosley." Oh, he's uh he's one of our truck drivers. Yeah, we we have a we have a warrant for his arrest. Uh where are he at right now? Oh, well he's um he's in Las Vegas. Okay, well we'll we'll get with the Las Vegas Police Department and we'll send uh we'll send a car out there to him and uh and pick him up. Oh. Okay. I mean Okay. <laughs> you know, that's all they could say. That's all they could say, Larry, is okay. And next thing you know, you have a cop car right there pulled up, and you you wondering, yo, what, what I'm being arrested for? Because of that inappropriate conversation that you had with a that that you had intentions with a 14 year old online. Larry goes on to say, How many guys you dated? She says, Two. Oldest, 17. What happened? He played video games all the time, so I dumped him. 
oh, wow. What are you looking for? I don't know, just someone that's nice to me. And he gives a thumbs up. Now, why would you? She's 14 years old, bruh. How the fuck she's going to know who the hell she's looking for? You know, she dumped a 17-year-old because he played video games a lot. That's immaturish, bro. You you talking, you talking to an immature that don't know what she's looking for, a 14-year-old that you think. Let me let me quit pro quo that. You think that she's for, uh, that she's a 14-year-old girl. Let's let's continue. It gets better. It gets better. I can't I can do that if you would if you would stay true to me and not cheat and be honest. I wouldn't cheat. That's mean. A lot has. That's not very nice of them. What would your mom say about this situation? She would ground me, so I'm not telling. Oh, okay. And probably try to put me in jail. Hold on right quick. Hold on. I, hold on. Probably might put me in jail. You really, you, you really think that. <laughs> yeah, probably is right. You, you probably would be in jail. I'll delete messages. Don't worry. I got to get some sleep. You can message me tomorrow if you want. Oh, I'll be driving till late to Kansas. Okay, be careful. Will you be mine? Let's talk more and we, we will see. Oh, okay. Night, IG. Will you be mine? Will you be mine? Dude, she's 14, bruh. That's some that's some crazy shit. 14. 14, bruh. Will you be mine? Hell no. Come on now. You I know. That us truck drivers are lonely. We're looking for affection. We're looking for companionship. But not from a 14-year-old. 14 years old. You're not supposed to be looking for a companionship from a 14-year-old. Maybe 19, maybe 20, maybe 21, 22. But not from a 14, bruh. You pedophiles out there is something else, man. What what do you what do you guys see in young children? Children. Their minds not even developed yet. What do you see in them? Let's continue. There's more. <laughs> there is more. Larry starts. Are you talking to others? She 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 says, Good night. No, I've been spending the last hour deleting people off my Facebook. Please keep me, please. Are you awake yet? This is Friday, February, or this is February 8th at 9.35 a.m. Yes, been driving. Lots of driving. Yeah. Where are you today? Bet you're beautiful today like always. Oh, thanks. New Mexico. Welcome, love. That's so far. Yeah, but I live not far from Evansville. Okay. Uh, smiley face with a kiss. I wish you was older. Me too. Why is that, dear? Because I hate being 14. I can't do anything. Ride with me. He gives the wink. That would be fun. See everything. Keep, keep each other warm. Keep, see everything. Keep, eat, I mean, each other warm and cuddly. She gives the cat face. 
like that, hun? Yes. Aw. And other things, he, he, what other things? Anything you wanted, dear. Oh, okay. What was you thinking? I don't know. I was thinking anything, anything. I, was, I wasn't thinking anything. That's why I asked. More than cuddling? Oh, like, I never done that before. Dude, come on now. You you putting yourself out there. I, I I honestly hope that you is not real. Larry, I hope you're not real, bruh. I really truly hope that you're not real. I, I'm hoping that this is a troll or somebody like that. But it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Okay. She said, oh, like sets? I never done that before. Okay. Really? No, not yet. That's good. He he face. First time should be special with someone you're going to be with forever, babe. I agree. Happy face with the, with the, with the, with the hearts. Look, you talking grown up shit, bruh. This chick, 14 years old, didn't have no sex, and you over here talking about having sex with her, man. Sex should be sex should be something that uh, it should be it should be something special. You don't talk like that to a 14 year old, dude. You in your fucking 40s, man, and you talking to a 14 year old? You you her fucking daddy, nigga. Excuse my language. I'm sorry for saying that. My bad. Let me let me pull that back. Uh, you, you, brother, <sighs> I wish I could be your guy and spoil you. I'm getting ready to go with my mama. I won't have Wi-Fi for a bit. Oh, uh, may I see you? What do you mean? You're in Mexico. A selfie, silly. Kiss, kiss. Oh, LOL. He, he. Because I have a smart mouth. Uh, I bet I can fix that. Uh, he, he. I got a plug for it. A pacifier? No, dear. I'm being ornery. Oh, he, he. I forgot you haven't did any, any of that. I'm sorry. You're okay, babe. Thank you. Maybe I could be the first. Okay. Really, dear? You're really nice to me. Have you decided if I could be your one and only? And then he sent the graphy. I never met you, though. Just talk. That's a big decision, isn't it? The wait. Hold on. Let me see. Let me go back. Okay. The wait to me would be worth the I'm I'm paraphrasing at the bottom because of the little arrow right there. But worth the wait, babe, I think. Okay. Is that a yes? If you're a nice person, yes. I'm nice either way, babe, but naughty behind certain door. I mean behind a certain door. Laugh out loud. If you let me, if you're nice, qu uh, kiss Mark. Come on, don't don't you guys see how sick this shit is? Don't you guys see how sick this shit is? This shit is fucking sick, and it gets better. This shit is fucking crazy, man. This is this is crazy. By Larry, Larry, man, you. Man, you you just putting yourself all out there, bro. You, you know, I, I feel like Chris Hansen right now. So, uh, you you brought some chips and some uh and some sodas for the party today. Who are you? Oh, my name is uh Chris Hansen from to uh from to catch a predator, and um, and you know you was talking to a, a fourteen year old, but that was one of our actresses. 
and you sitting there looking stupid, bruh. Just like you're going to be looking stupid in a minute. All right. Okay. He says, is that it? Okay, wait. You're a nice person. Nicer, nicer. Okay, let's click on. All right. I'm going to be with you, Griffey. Yes. That's cute. You're going to make me bad, babe. I can't say yes just from talking to you. I'm sorry. And gives a sad face. I'm sorry. I get it. I'm not what you want. No, it just can't make a decision without being around someone that's that's something big. Please, dear, I don't want to lose you to someone else that has already happened to that that's already happened too many times and I've been hurt over and over. I haven't met anyone else. Or is there someone else that you're talking to? Uh I never met. That's kind of scary. Please give me a chance, baby. I'll get back home in a few weeks. I'll come and meet you. Okay, I'll wait. Meaning, I'll wait to meet you. Kiss, hug, kiss. When we meet. Yeah, sure. Oh, sweet. I'll probably be shy. Really? You... <laughs> You're going to be shy around a fucking 14-year-old, bruh? You shouldn't be shy at all. You should be shot. I'm just saying. You should be shot. No, you'll be okay. Morning. All right, February 15th, 8.36 a.m. Morning. Babe, S-O-S-O. Kisses and hugs, kisses and hugs. Morning. Hun, guess you found someone else. No, I've been busy with school and homework. I don't get too much on during the week. I miss you. Do you text, dear? No, I don't have service here, just Wi-Fi. Sad face. I miss you. Are you mad at me? Of course not. Kiss. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Love you, sweetie. That's a little fast, ain't it? I do care about you. I like talking to you. Let me see if I can get that. I like talking to you. I just don't know someone could love someone from uh, talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Don't you guys? Don't you guys watch that uh, TV show Catfish? How they be going back and forth and then they develop feelings for one another that they never seen in a long, I mean, in, in a long process. How can you have, how can you generate like, like love feelings for someone that you haven't even seen before? You know what I'm saying? You could talk, you, you could talk, talk and talk and you could develop like, a little bit of like a little bit of feelings, but not major feelings like I love you, you know. How can you develop major feelings like that? Not without even seeing the person. Without even know without being around that person. How can you develop love feelings without even being around that person? Let's continue. You're sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Love. Happy face. How was your weekend, baby? See you went to the mall. Get anything sexy. I was good, relaxed, and shopped. Two best things ever. Kissing emojis. Just jeans. Tight. Normal. He he. I want to be your one and only, babe. I know you do. I really hope you consider love. I'm considering. I really hope so, babe. What you're what are you what you doing, babe? Watching TV with my mama. Fun. I'll take you with me, babe. Where to? Wherever I had to deliver to, babe, see the countryside. My mom prob my mom probably wouldn't let me go. I know till you're 18. I'm sorry, but I could take you out to dinner and a movie, babe. 
She wouldn't let me do that either. I'm sure. While she works, she wouldn't know if she was at, I mean, she wouldn't know if she was at work, I guess. If you want to, that's fine. Kiss, babe, yes. Ride, ride me, babe. Ride with me. My mom wouldn't let me. He, he. Could, could the first one laugh out loud? What you're doing? The first one what? Just watching TV. Oh, I was just being bad. Okay. They got, they got beds in these trucks, dear. Do they? How? In the sleeper. Oh, want to break, you want want to break it in? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I'm being bad, dear. Oh, that's okay. It's up to you, babe, if you like talking about it. I don't know. I never really talked about it. Oh, you have been in the mood at all? I don't think so. Nothing has, has excited Wait, nothing has excited you seeing someone or something or someone or maybe what someone said? No, I don't think so. Sorry, babe. I fell asleep. I felt like shit. You should feel like shit, bruh. You should feel like shit talking to this 14-year-old. It's okay. I'm sorry. You feel like crap. Miss you. Boring just watching movies. Oh, I bet I can spice it up. Laugh out loud how? Kissing you all over. Oh, laugh out loud. Would you like me to? Girl, I have you scream, screaming all over. Okay, I don't know. Maybe. I know you're ticklish. I am. Laugh out loud. Bet I can find them. Under my arms, laugh out loud. Bet your neck in other places, too. I don't know. Would you let me? Maybe. Can I ask a personal question? If you want, if I don't want to... Okay, couldn't tell whatever whatever else, but I think, I think they was trying to say, if I don't want to answer, don't be mad or some shit like that. Oh, bra size, really small. Would I have a chance to see him? I don't know. You're far away. I don't send pictures like that in person. Maybe if I'm comfortable. I really want to be the only one. Only one makes you happy. I know. I really hope that you let me. Are you still going to let me? Let you what? February 23rd, 2, 2.40 p.m. Be your man, babe, and spoil you. February 23rd, 7.37 p.m. Hi, babe. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking any. I'm not thinking anything. Oh, could I touch you or am I limited? I guess it depends on what you mean. Any of your boyfriends touch you? No, just kiss. Oh, would you kiss me? Maybe. Could I squeeze your butt cheeks, hee hee, dear? Maybe. Sorry, I'm doing the dishes. This is February 23rd, 9, 9 19 p.m. Can I ask, ask what? Can you take a selfie of yourself now, dear? Yeah. Is it bald below, babe? These is at different times, like Thursday at 11 a.m., February 28th, 12.08 a.m. Sorry, I just saw this. I couldn't find one. I couldn't find you on here. Miss you. You too. What are you doing? Just watching TV. Miss you, baby doll. You too. I can't wait to meet you, babe. 
What are you doing, babe? Just watching Space Jam. Fun. I like it. Good show? Yes. I wish I was with you. Me too. Kiss, baby. This shit is crazy. Here's the picture. Broham. Bro. Broski. You, 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 you know you fucked up, right? You know you just fucked up, right? You, you know you just fucked up. I'm just saying. I'm ugly. No, you're not. You're serious about me? No joke? I'm okay. Right here. Serious about me. Why would I joke? You're sweet to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you, babe. Do you have any kids? Yes. Are uh, boys or girls, how old are they? Both. 16, 15, 14, and 12. Oh, that's a lot. The oldest, no, oldest is 17, not 16. Oh, okay. Now, bro, you got boys and girls the same age this little girl is, and you talking to a 14-year-old girl like this? You should be ashamed of yourself, dude. You should be holy hell ashamed of your freaking self right now, man. That shit is fucking crazy. It's fucking nasty. And I don't understand what the hell is going through your head. Trying to proposition sex from a 14-year-old girl over the internet, over Facebook of all places. Yeah, it gets better. <laughs> Hold on right quick. Okay, it wait. It it just jumps. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Why, dear? Just thought it was pretty sad to have kids that old and being and and be grooming a 14-year-old. Don't you think? And then he say, "Oh, wow." Might not be an actual 14-year-old. Might be a man in his 30s catching a child predator. And then he showed a picture of himself. Uh, minors against predators. And there's the picture right there. Have you have, in, have anything to say for yourself before I expose you to the public and send these, cat, I mean, these chat laws to the law enforcement? I guess not. Yeah, Larry. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, your shit is called dead, bro, man. Mm-hmm. See what you like about that. See what you like about that, bro, ham. Bro ski. Bro, bro protector. Bro money. <laughs> yeah let's see what you got to say about that man that is crazy that is crazy man so look for people that got children that's that's on the internet that's on facebook please please be vigilant in what they see and what they do make sure you make sure you know that they don't have no secret texts with somebody that they don't know make sure that they don't go and meet anybody that they might meet over the over the internet this internet shit could be dangerous to a lot of kids out here that don't know shit you know what i'm saying that really don't know i'm just saying take it from me lockout men protect your children Protect your kids out here. You know what I'm saying? And and to the and to the pedophiles, to the pedophiles out here, Derek, you gonna get caught one way or the other, bro. You gonna get caught. This shit right here, what you what you just did in this in this text log right here, it's gonna be recorded. Especially if it's if it's if it's odd. I'm just saying. Nothing never goes away over the internet. I'm just saying. 
All right, well, guys, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell along with that all button for more content like this. I am your humble host, Lockout Men, and I am always here to be to give you more information that you want. I appreciate it. Yo, as again, like I said, don't forget to like and share. If you want to come on, if you want to come on the podcast, I really do appreciate it. Hit me up in the DM over at Lockout Men and Instagram or send me an email, lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. If you want to come on and share your experience with me, you want to collab, you want to, you want to network. You want to network? Yo, let's do it, all right? Let's do it. I am here for you, all right? I appreciate it. You guys take it easy. I'm about to get on up out of here. Y'all stay safe out there. Keep your children safe out there. And you guys have a blessed one.